it. Keep out of the black and in the red. Nothing in this game for two in the red. Hello, welcome to When Wagon Wheels Are Bigger, the podcast that stays out of the black and in the red. There's nothing in this game for two in a bed. Unfortunately, why won't you do it, Mark? Why? Why won't you join me? I'm Martin. I'm Mark. We well, have and have done, in a way. <laughs> in a way. In a way. Not we used in to, the way I like. We used to lie next to each other in bed playing Super Nintendo when we were teenagers. Nothing it's weird. not the same. There's nothing weird about it, despite what our brothers said. <laughs> <laughs> I bet they did worse. They always closed the door when they were playing Bomberman. Yeah, we yeah, kept I know the what door that means. open. Uh, yeah, who's really wrong? Nobody's wrong, because it's fine, except for we're related, and that's weird. Um... That's only in the eyes of the Lord and society and <laughs> <in the> law. <laughs> <laughs> it's nothing wrong. You can do what you like behind closed doors. You can. You Just shouldn't, ask. but you can. No, I'm not going to. I'm not going <laughs> to. No, let's, let's not go stop anywhere now. <laughs> that we might regret. Um, yeah. We are looking at, Fresh as West. you might have guessed. <laughs> If you might have guessed from my intro, um, <coughs> although you could have taken that a few different ways, uh, we are looking at Bullseye, Bullseye. the uh, 80s and 90s darts-based game show that makes probably very little sense when you watch it again now. You've you've been watching this, as you hinted at last week I did. in uh, our Spats episode. <laughs> I've been watching it almost every night. It's brilliant. <laughs> it's so terrible. I, this ap- episode, I sent this link because this is one I watched at, at time of recording last night. On Challenge TV, <clears throat> and I just found it really funny. Jim Bowen is a rubbish host. Um, he's wobbied. That's not nothing to do with it, but I just really <laughs> noticed it last night. Um, How were you able to track down the specific episode that I you watched? I just put in Bullseye. Just happened upon it. <laughs> it just, <laughs> Fair enough. There are there are quite a few episodes of Bullseye um, on YouTube, and um, this is 1990. Although looking at the fashion, you would think it was the early 80s. Um, <laughs> It's that crossover period, though, isn't it? It's that awkward, you know, that awkward period we all went through. We didn't know. Is it the eighties? Is it the nineties? Well, no, it is the nineties. But Ooh. what does what does it mean to be in the nineties? We don't <clears throat> know yet. We just don't have enough information. We, we never will know either. I don't think. <laughs> no. What was the nineties? Just neon colours and too just much horrendous hair. and shell suits. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just liked this. Amused me this episode, so I thought, well, let's watch this. <laughs> It's uh, if you're looking for it to play along at home, uh, you can look for it. It's called Bullseye Game Show 1990, and it's been uploaded by JS Webbs, and uh, their avatar on YouTube is a man sniffing a dart. <laughs> so you might uh, enjoy that as well. But I think any episode of Bullseye, just just probably watch watch anything really. Do I, something else. I think before we start, the thing to look out for is the different ways that people throw darts. Okay, it's quite you've, interesting because you've you've already seen this, so this is I quite have. good. You've you've made some mental notes already. I, so a particular comment I want to make. Halfway, yeah, um, <laughs> but it's oh, we just let's just watch it. Oh, all right, I think. Then. Um, so without further ado, three, two, one, bullseye. <laughs> it's increasingly becoming the podcast that sings the songs of the things it's watching. Sing the theme tune. Um, so the opening credits, for anyone who doesn't know, is a load of dance players on a bus being driven by Bully. Uh, then he, in space. <laughs> in space. Then he is ejected out, I assume, leading them to their deaths in a massive crash. <laughs> well, yeah, he has left them to it, hasn't he? Left them for dead. Here's your host, Jim Bowen. I did always, as a kid, really enjoy that cartoon of Bully, though. I think he's he's quite a well-drawn character. He's a good caricature. He is, yeah. Of a bull. <laughs> of a bull. <laughs> They get loads and loads of letters on Bullseye. And Jim Bowen is going to read one out now. Because I thought this was going to lead into a really good joke. But it doesn't. It leads into a terrible TV show. <laughs> what about Jim Bowen's previous history made you think there was a good joke coming? Good idea. Good idea. Good point. <laughs> um, look at that guy at the front. He's got jaundice. <laughs> and his wife has. <laughs> Oh, she looks sad about it. He looks like he's just frozen in... He kind of, does. Oh, no, he's moved. Frozen like in, in the 1960s Batman TV show. <laughs> just shine and a that, light on him. <laughs> I think that yellow light might be quite warm because both he and his wife have sort of wiped sweat off their faces. <laughs> it's a combination of that and the jaundice. Yeah. So, so, so what he's saying is he, he, they've moved from Birmingham now um, so he feels he can converse here and the joke is that the 
actor that has been positioned there is from Birmingham talking in a, in a very rich Birmingham accent so Jim can't that's, understand him. That's hilarious isn't it? Be free love. if Jim Bono just need him in his face. <laughs> I do love that kind of thing that you know trying to separate people out into that kind of thing you know just trying to set people against each other as Jim Bowen was clearly trying to do yeah. that man is just is, is that a different yellow man down the front because <laughs> they're very specifically lit with that yellow light only one person there's a lot, a lot of jaundice going on <laughs> look at that hair slightly jealous actually <laughs> Jim Bowen now when you in a post bow selector world just looks like he could be being played I, by Lee Francis my exact comment <laughs> when watching this last night was do you think Lee Francis based all of those post-selected puppets <laughs> on Jim Bowen's face I, it's exactly what I said because it's the glasses really as well it's the glasses and the massive and the eyes and the nose and the general face <laughs> and the fact that he looks like a post-selector puppet is he put, uh, if you you know, blacked him up in a very politically yeah. incorrect way and put a big wig on him he would look like the Mel B character yeah he he looks like the one. If they cut back to him, looks like he would play a villain in EastEnders. Yes, he does. He could be like Dirty Den's long lost brother or something. Yeah. But the one to look out for when th I mean there are lots of funny darts throws I've been watching over the last few nights. But this guy now, um, he doesn't care <laughs> when he's throwing <laughs> his darts. Honestly, it's just funny the way he throws his darts. He's so angry. <laughs> I look forward to that. He's angry but doesn't care in equal measure. It's a very odd, odd cocktail of emotion his face is portraying. Is Julie his wife? Yes, yeah, just Linda Bellingham's sister. Ah, I see. Uh, Glinda Bellingham. <laughs> <laughs> he, um... <laughs> it's Julie. 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 Hello, Julie. Welcome to the show. Oh, I see. Bullseye wouldn't be Bullseye without one 80s or 90s moustache, would it? It wouldn't. And the guy on the far right is there to not disappoint. He's got a terrifying haircut as well, hasn't right. he? This man here. Rather good looking, I thought. <laughs> really? Is it the eyes? His eyes. And when he's throwing dice, he's got quite muscular arms. <laughs> oh, okay. Again, something to look out for there. Look out for. And then he's got to be a policeman, this guy. Is yeah, he say? I would have thought so. It's really distracting that in the background I can just see that one yellow man who I wouldn't have picked up on if you hadn't have pointed him out in the oh, beginning. Oh, he's a delivery driver. Well, that's disappointing. <laughs> Maybe he delivers criminals to the police station. Ah, undercover. Yeah. White socks, shoes, back in fashion now. Is it? Yeah, to have your trousers quite short with white socks on show. Is that, is that right? Oh well, had to come back at some point I suppose. It did. So, this whole questions. Thing, this whole question and answer thing is flawed in terms of how it's scored well they don't have to go because what that one subject is lit up yeah relating to a section of the board but if they don't hit it do they still answer the question yeah. about a different thing anyway so what's the point well yeah they still answer it well you get extra money that's what it is okay right yeah but monty python's flying how circus often they miss it's because they choose the question that was just a weird non sequitur from me. I was just thinking I was answering the question because I heard the Monty Python theme song. Oh, yeah, I thought you're that right. was what the question was. Okay. Get your 30 pounds. Well done. Faces. Faces we want. That's not a sentence, Jim. <laughs> oh my god, I see what you mean. He just launched that yeah, dart like he was so going angry. out the back of the board. <laughs> so and, oh, Mike Smith. Rest in peace. <laughs> wow. Um, no, it's, it wasn't because most people throw a dart sort of. Overarm. He just seems to be like projecting it out of a cannon. Look at his, in his lovely, chest. Look at his lovely muscly arms. Look he, at that. he is quite muscular. Muscular. Is. <laughs> muscular is the word I was going for. But instead, I sounded like Popeye. He's very muscly. Egg -egg -egg -egg. muscly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, thirty pound, eighty pound. Zero and pounds. No pounds. No pounds for you, Mr. Muscle. Fifty pound, the um, well known sign language for fifty, five fingers. <laughs> <laughs> fifty pound. He does it in every episode. Fifty pound, that's five, Jim. Flash it <laughs> ten times. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep turning it around like three, two, one. <laughs> one, two, three, four. <laughs> fifty pounds. She's that's yawning in the middle. I mean, she's not. <laughs> he's, a, he's got to be a serial killer, Frank. Look at him. Yeah, he's quite scary. 
I more think Tony's quite brave to standing next to that that dartboard when the other guy's about to throw. <laughs> there was one we watched. Oh, okay, he goes. <clears throat> that is <laughs> just no effort at all, really. No effort. And he looks like Craig Cash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Linda Bellingham and Craig Cash, back from the dead. Both of them. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I hate this, when you did the spelling. Yeah, but to be fair to him, he does manage to point where the letters are, which is quite, yeah. quite a feat. Yeah. But well, they probably did that afterwards to match where he pointed. Oh, that's true, I didn't think of that. <laughs> Look at those muscular arms. Look at him. Yeah, he's, um, he's a bit of a beefcake. Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't mind just having a little hug, would you? I don't know, he's just, he looks like he looks after you. <laughs> <laughs> he make you feel safe. He does make you feel safe. Who does this guy look like? Rob. He's really reminded me of someone, but I don't know who it is. Um, like a taller chuckle brother, maybe. Maybe a little bit like the guy who's on Parks and Recreation. Maybe. Um, no, I don't think that's quite it, though. No, it's not that. Not even close. What are you talking about? Well, the moustache and the you know. Hair in the, and the it eyes. Was, <laughs> I've, I've watched some old ones at least, well, like the pilot where Tony Green wasn't in it. It was just. Um, uh, Jim stood by the board doing the scores as well and after every dart was thrown Jim walked up to the dart and moved it a bit to see where it was <laughs> such a slow <laughs> process really? yeah and they had several, rather than the revolving dart board with the different styles on it they had like dart boards dotted around it was really <laughs> awkward. awful it was awful it took forever <laughs> who do you think is going to win? who do you think uh, gonna... you already know so I'm hoping that Angry Man and his lovely wife yeah, but he goes like, <laughs> books. I don't think Mokes. he's ever read a book. Probably not. What, Jim? Do you what know what? That question? Also, some of this is who wrote The Godfather? And she goes, Mario Puto, is it? And he goes, are you asking me or telling me? He only does that to women. Does he? Yeah. Technically, she's both Jim. <laughs> Asking you? Are you asking me that? <laughs> yes. Oh, he's dreamy. He's got quite dreamy eyes as well. He has. I've I've turned around on him now. Yeah. yeah. I'd turn around for him. <laughs> <laughs> While his muscular arms just caressed your back. Good looking man. He probably isn't now because this was nearly thirty years ago. So he's probably dead. He's he's too good for Rob. Too good for Rob. Hmm. What's he doing, with Rob? Only the answer to that. The answer was sulphur. I imagine they were down the pub together, and what he one he was playing darts, and the other one was just on the pub quiz machine. And they went, you know what? There's probably some money to be made from this. <laughs> just just ch chucking sticks on. The <laughs> sticks and we'll with get pins to meet Jim Bowen. Jim Bowen. Jim Bowen. Jim Bowen. <laughs> no, it doesn't sound like anything else, does it? <laughs> A Jimbo win, a Jimbo win, a Jimbo win, a Jimbo win. In the bullseye, the mighty bullseye. <laughs> All right, now, oh, right, they've got a. It's, this is just the darts round now. That's it. It's highest score goes. They get a question whoever gets the highest score. Right. In the darts, and they're all he scored. They're all shit at darts. It seems forty-three. At actual darts, they're all shit. <laughs> even even I could get forty-three. Look at, look at this guy. Eh. One. One. <laughs> <laughs> eh. 18. Five. Oh no, 18. Five. 24. 24. Which is rubbish. I could do that. Tony should laugh in their faces. It's right. Muscular man will save us. He'll go all the way arms. through that board. 20. Oh, yeah, Straight 20. away. 20. Look at that. Come on, another one. Another 20. Another 20. Oh, he's a beautiful man. Just hit the board and you're ahead. 51. That was enough. 51. You picked well, Rob. In many ways. He guesses, what's the lowest female singing voice? I wouldn't have a clue. And he guessed and got it right. How do you even guess that? What was the answer? Whatever he said, I couldn't hear. <laughs> okay. I was trying to think of a, a woman with a low singing voice. Five. This is such a high scoring round. It's just Five. It's just depressing. Oh, treble 20. Oh, oh see, that's good. That's a good 20, thing. 80, I know enough about darts. 85. <laughs> to know that treble 20 is quite good. cash. Ploughing uh, through the board. Five. Five. <laughs> He's not even trying, is he? No. One. Uh, there's a one. Why are you playing the dart bit? It's really terrible. Is he gonna? Oh, is he gonna get more than eighty-five now, Muscle Man? Treble twenty. Wow. Well, treble twenty there. straight off the bat. Look at that. No worries. And another twenty. And another twenty. It's a show off, really. He is. 
He looks humble about it. He does look humble, but he's, you know, he is showing off. I mean, he's humble, he's good looking, he's a full package. <laughs> he really is. Show you a good time. I bet he remember your anniversaries and birthdays and stuff as well. I bet he would, don't you buy me flowers? Mm hmm. You don't. <laughs> Well, you won't do that thing I like. <laughs> <laughs> I will. <laughs> oh, he messed up. But here it all. Was that actually an answer? It was the answer. It's something to do with what, some sort of beetle. What does someone, some sort of beetle decimate? Potato beetle. I forget now. He is just an 80s uh. stereotype, this man, isn't he? One. <laughs> yeah. With his earring and his long hair. He's already at least a decade out with that hair. <coughs> he is 81, though. 81. We know this guy's not going to beat that score. No. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> One. He's <laughs> trouble, trouble five. five. <laughs> Bounce, bounces <laughs> off and lands on the rubber. Just so angry. It's, it's that little defeated slow walk to pick <laughs> it up off the floor that made that good. Trouble, trouble 20, 20 he's straight in there. Zooming in just Treble in case he gets. 20. Oh my god, 120 and another tall 20. Oh. That's good. And they still don't win. 140. Or do they win, ultimately? Mm. Well, I, I don't know who to root for anymore. Maybe just Mr. Handsome Man on the end, because, you know, he's your favourite, clearly. Number one handsome man. <laughs> he's a hunk. He's a hunk. <laughs> you hunk. <laughs> he's a hunk. I think he's a hunk. He is a hunk. I have, have to agree with you. He is a hunk. Oh, your suit's too grey, Jim. It's just dull. I don't like it. It's just too grey. Too much grey going on. Now imagine being in that far corner of the audience. That's rubbish, isn't it? It's a rubbish you, position. <laughs> you can't see anything that's happening on the board. And there's no lights on you. Look, they're in the dark. <laughs> they're in the dark. They can't see anybody answering the questions. I hope they didn't pay for their tickets. Look how tall he is. I reckon he's, he's taller than you. Giant. How tall are you? Six foot four? Yeah, thereabouts. I reckon he must be at least 6'6". Six, six. He looks very tall. He does. See, I would rather go home with one of those bully statues things. Yeah, a bendy anyway. bully. A bendy what, bully. What I love is, I mean, Peter Kay has picked up on this before as well, but how he said, oh, you'll take me the ad break to count it, and he's got like 50 quid to count. <laughs> so, and I think Peter Kay says, well, what is it, in pound note, in pound coins, or <laughs> in pennies, 20 p's. <laughs> But then, as we've established, Jim thinks 50 is 5, so somebody well, has to keep it. telling him, no, more than that, no, and, and more, uh, and again. This is the exciting bit now, where you get a professional dartsman come on uh, to throw for charity, and he's got to score 301 or more. Is that good? That's high. Look at the state of that. Professional dance players are just shambles of men, aren't they? <laughs> well, they used to be. I think it's... <clears throat> It's changed a lot now, hasn't it? Darts is quite a, an exciting sport. They've got cheerleaders and, and drunk yeah, they people still in the look audience. a mess. The dance <laughs> yeah, players. So. They still have that look about them. The look of a dance player hasn't changed in 30 years. <laughs> but it has become a much more exciting... Well, it's, even, it's trying to be exciting. Where do you even buy shirts like that? <laughs> Dartsman shops. Oh. Oh, the Dartsman in High yeah, Street. The Dartsman, oh, yeah, Dartsman, right. The Dartsman district. He's not going to do it, is he? Doesn't look like it. He's got no hope. Don't clap him, he's rubbish. How many darts has he got left? He's, Three. He's supposed to be a professional. One. <laughs> <laughs> nah, oh, give yeah, up, he's, mate. He's not done it. Trouble 20. It's too late with Trouble 20. It's no good now. He should have got a few more of those at the beginning, then he'd have won. Ray Batty. Ray Batty. <laughs> if he'd, see, if he'd scored 301, they would have doubled that and given it to charity, but now they'll just give that to charity instead. And now he'll give a speech about like all the things that he's seen uh, before he the lights go off in his eyes. Yeah. Blade Runner joke. <laughs> Bit rubbish, because I couldn't remember exactly what, uh, <laughs> what like, how his character <laughs> says. <laughs> it's, it's this awkward little chat he does as well. So, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> uh, uh, what road did you take to get here? <laughs> Can I come with you? Oh dear. I, I love that as well. I know you're going to wish him all the best. I'm f***ing not, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I what. I wanted the hunky one to win. <laughs> Tell me what I'm going to do. <laughs> Shut it. I was, I was rooting for sexy man. Cram it with walnuts, Jimbo. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, oh, what the prizes? Used to love that as a kid yeah. as well. Yeah. So stupid, but the and one fridge freezer, champagne bucket. Oh, These shit. are for an eighties stroke nineties show, though. These are okay Fucking prizes. Food processor. My mum had that for the perfect that one. man. The hover mower. Yeah, golf, golf clubs. clubs. We know what he's going to go for. Yeah, probably. Yes, it's well, you do. I do. Because you've seen it. The space Snowman attack game. Ah, oh, we need to find that and play it. <laughs> the what? Uh, we need to find that game and play it yeah. and record ourselves <laughs> playing it. Kids eBay. Points. eBay. <laughs> Special prize. This that we've had every episode. <laughs> <laughs> Our video recorder. With remote control. Wow. This it's is, not on a wire or this anything. This 1990 when remote controls were pretty standard <laughs> with video recorders. Yeah. Right, that's He's just point. pointing out what the dartboard looks like. Point, point out what the middle looks like. Now aim for this. This is the dartboard. This is where your darts go. Nothing, you. nothing for two in a bed. You've got to get the red. That thing I say every week. <laughs> <laughs> go with the darts, man. Now don't, don't throw angry now. Take your time. Don't throw angry. <laughs> don't be angry. <laughs> just in, in, <laughs> just would be really good to cut this with that scene from Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. <laughs> just the, Reels in pain. Black. Rubbish. That's right, it's number four. Number four. You're man the perfect prizes. man now. You've got the mower. They're my prizes, dear. They're mine. They're the man prizes. What's she going to go for? Chimpo just told you all this is shut up then. Red. Oh, see, she's better than he is already. She got one with her first time. processor for a lady. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, she, she got yeah. two prizes. She, and she's a arguably... freezer for the lady. She, she's going for the ladies' prizes. She's arguably a better dartsman than him. She is. Maybe he should have answered some questions. Then they'd have won. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that That's, not, he's won not that, being He's won that for his wife, the decanter set. He didn't want it. <laughs> he was really forceful with that throw then. And... Black. Oh, that's shit, mate. Look, he's rubbing his eyes in. He's <laughs> just so unbelievable. Lady prize, lady prize. Man prize. Man prize. Man prize. Man prize. Lady prize. Get drunk. That's a lady <laughs> prize. The alcohol is the man's prize. <laughs> thing is, lady prize, I've just realised, is also a euphemism for boobs because of that uh, that boob apron YouTube video. Oh, really? I didn't know that. I'm sure it's one of the terms that they use. Lady prize. About hiding Are they going to gamble? Lady prizes. Are they gonna Do gamble? they gamble? No, or are you asking me? They don't gamble. Oh. I wouldn't. They've won a fridge freezer, that's quite expensive. It is. I believe I've had. Oh. But, well, he's just said he's left handed, so he obviously wants left handed golf clubs, Jim. We can, we can make him left handed <laughs> if you like. I mean, it is a pain. <laughs> Clearly, he's always getting at. <laughs> but you really must have golf clubs that you can use. <laughs> we will make them left handed. Are you going to gamble Lego Man hair? <laughs> Oh, gamble, gamble! You just all game show audiences just had to shout "gamble" at people. We want you to fail, <laughs> fail, gamble. Oh, he's smiling. It's enterprises. Oh, you big pussy! <laughs> <laughs> Go on, piss off, piss off with your money and your ladies' Boo. gobbler. You're not allowed to tank because you're a woman. You got the ladies' gobbler. <laughs> Bring back the muscle man. Bring back muscle man. <laughs> Bring them back. Can't wait. Actually, they were the lowest scorers, so... Ah, oh, that's a shame. But do they come back? Oh. <laughs> they do. <laughs> <laughs> this this is what's ridiculous about the show, is if they say no to the camera, they bring back each couple for them to go, nah. <laughs> <laughs> To a round of applause round of as well. Rather than, it'd be funny if you just come around and look at the dartboard and go, no! <laughs> <laughs> no, you're alright, Jim. We've had a lovely day. <laughs> Tell me. You're keeping the money. What the f is this? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my children have got a week tonight. You've got to, you've got to gamble your money so you'll lose it. Oh, this well, let's go through the rigmarole of the third one then. It's just, there is one episode where none of them gamble. 
probably more than one. Probably more than one. There is one on YouTube, I think. Here comes Don and Rob. Good old Don and Rob. There comes Don. There he is. Hello, Don. Don. Look at where he walks. Awesome, he knows. He knows he's good looking. Don the Mon. Look at him touching his arm. That's what I'd like to do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Got a firm old grip of that, didn't he? Do they gamble? Are you going to gamble? You better gamble. I'm Jim Bowen. <laughs> <laughs> you better gamble. This show is shit. Gamble, gamble. I gotta gamble. Oh. Not gonna lie to you boys, we've got a lot of speedboats we've got to get rid of. <laughs> or caravans. Whatever you don't really need or want. <laughs> this guy is so giant that he could just probably well, reach look, over look, and look, put look, that in. Look how close his arm is. Look. <laughs> Lean over and place it in the treble. You should see his arm come into the split screen. Put <laughs> 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 the dart in. <laughs> Reach as was really his friend for most of that, yeah. wasn't it? What if they got a score? 101. Which is he? I'm, oh, that's piss easy now. I mean, I'm not a dance player as such, but I'm, I'm fairly confident I could do that with six darts. Between two people, yeah. The two of us really need to just throw three darts <laughs> <laughs> each and see what we score. Yeah. Um, not now, though. That's a lot of sad. Oh, what are you doing, Don? Oh, Don. Close arms. Don't let me. Don. They've done it, they've won. Yay! Oh, you're jealous of Rob now, aren't you? Yeah. I really wish that you were hugging Don. But only, what do they win? Only Come in on. Must be a speedboat. It's a car. Oh my god, they actually won the a good thing. Well, the smallest car they could win for a man of his size. <laughs> that is funny. His knees will be on his chin. You can drive for hours and hours. <laughs> Don't tell me how to drive, Jim. <laughs> it doesn't doesn't need any petrol. No, it's a magic Bob, car. Bob and Don are still driving to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Jim, Jim told us we could drive for hours and hours. It's like the end of Wolver Wolverine Origin, <laughs> when he just says, you know, just walk, or she tells him to walk. Yeah, yeah. he just drives. It. <laughs> he's got terrible back pain because he's too big for the car. I haven't eaten in 30 years. <laughs> I'm so hungry. Don, Don's dead. <laughs> Don died in 1997. <laughs> well, I can certainly see why you've been watching Challenge TV. Honestly. And uh, every night. Catching up on those. I absolutely love Bullseye. I have uh, so does my quickly, wife. Looked, quickly looked for some darts quizzes. I don't know if I've found any useful ones, though. <laughs> Fair enough. This? How many questions? Ten questions, but a lot of them are actually... You have to know about some of the players. Um, so I probably won't do that. <laughs> it's a letdown, isn't it? <laughs> Not necessarily. Oh, uh, I enjoyed it. I was hoping for like some kind of checkout you know, <laughs> quiz that would give you the, the maths. Oh, what's this? Oh, f*** it, I can't be asked. <laughs> That was good, wasn't it? It was um, good. I enjoyed that. I, I actually really enjoyed watching Bullseye. <laughs> Honestly, 11 o'clock tonight, challenge, two episodes in a row. <laughs> I've got to get up oh. early tomorrow, but I'm watching Bullseye tonight. I don't care. I think I will. I'm slightly now. addicted to it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got time. It's fine. We've got at least half an hour before we uh, before that starts. Yeah, we've got time to shut down, turn off, save files, close down laptops. It's all fun. Do all the all the things you have to do. All the things. Um, yeah, no, that was good. So that was episode ninety nine. It was episode ninety nine, and uh, that makes it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but doesn't that mean that the next episode is episode one hundred of W four B? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's count. Ninety nine. Yes, one hundred. Wow, we've been doing this for one hundred episodes. Can, Can you, you believe it? Believe it. I can't believe it. We haven't done it yet. We might not get to that. Who knows what will happen in a week? But <laughs> technically, technically, we've recorded a hundred. As we, we say, there is a lost episode. We have so, recorded a um, hundred. It will be a slightly damp squib for us, just you know, subconsciously uh, recording a hundred when we know it's a hundred and one. Yeah, but true. we won't let that shine through. We won't. And uh, um, we've got something. It's not particularly special, but a longer episode planned. Yeah, it's difficult to come up with special things, really, isn't mm. it? Because I think we've done a lot of the. Uh, a lot of the iconic kids shows yeah. but uh, we're going to do something that we will enjoy at least and yes. that we've talked about before and Indeed. as you say it is a bit longer so um, it is we, yeah. we've kind of latched on to quiz shows a few times and this is yeah. no exception to that so hopefully we'll tune in next week to enjoy that one as well a big
bit of everything. But uh, in the meantime, yeah, if you do want to um, send us any messages or anything, you can do that several different ways. The one way I'm going to mention now is email, which is if you like wagon wheels at outlook.com. I'll read those. Mark probably won't. I'll never read it. I'll never log into that email account. I'll never look at them. <laughs> so don't directly uh, correspond with me because you are not. You're corresponding with Martin and Martin <laughs> only. Um, but I do look at the tweets and the Facebook messages. So you can tweet us at Spread the Whimsy um, or you can message us at uh, facebook.com forward slash when wagon wheels are bigger and I will probably respond to those. In the sense of share and share alike, you'll pull all the heavy lifting on that side of things. Yeah, and I do edit all the episodes. Yeah, um, and I'm here as well. <laughs> so that was uh, Bullseye. That's quite a good one. Quite a nice upbeat one to, uh, to do just before we uh, disappoint everybody with episode 100 yeah but yeah thank you very much for listening that was <laughs> all good we're doing fun. is much like we did with episode 50 we just did something longer <laughs> <laughs> yeah what else is there to do exactly. we would have if it's a shame it didn't coincide with like christmas because then we'd have done that video game one yeah um, and but, called that 100 but pff, whatever okay it's too late now you get both it's in the past quit living in the past <laughs> Look to the future says, man says the the host of the podcast that lives in the past yeah i don't wanna, i don't want to change <laughs> 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 um, so uh, a special shout out to Don Don if you are listening if you did ever stop driving and you somehow hear this podcast get in touch, get in touch. Uh, would, Mark would love to hear I would like you. to hear from you <laughs> I know it's been um, nearly 30 years but I don't think that's going to matter I think you are probably still a hunker hunker burning love hunker 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 mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and on that note um, yeah well, hopefully you'll be back next week I will. Me too. Hopefully. <laughs> See you then. Cheerio. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.